I would like to call the February 6, 2008 meeting of the Youth Commission to order at 6.30 p.m. Now I hand it over to Commissioner McMinn for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Commissioner McMinn. I would like to have our uh, staff coordinator, Francine Spriegel, take roll. Thank you. Commissioner Athar? Present. Commissioner Garvin? Here. Commissioner Hatlin? Present. Commissioner Johnson? Here. Commissioner Liu? Present. Commissioner McMinn? Present. Commissioner Morrison? Here. Commissioner Rose? Here. Commissioner Sadwick? Here. Commissioner Sassoon? Present. Commissioner Sate is absent. Commissioner, Commissioner Slachi? Present. Commissioner Wall? Here. Commissioner Martinez? Here. And Commissioner Petrus? Present. Thank you. Thank you. We will now move to public comments with Commissioner Wall. Are there any public comments? There being none, let's move on. Thank you. Now we will move to school and liaison reports with Commissioner Liu. Um, so Commissioner Morrison is going to give us our TO report. Okay, there's a basketball game tonight at TO versus Simi. Well, girls are at home, boys are away, so good luck TO. Um, academic, Akadeka played placed fifth in a county competition. Talent show tryouts are at lunch all this week in room A6. Link crew applications are due Friday, so see Ms. Cooper if you haven't already gotten one. Softball tryouts this week, as well as tennis tryouts. Second semester has officially started. Auditions for Into the Woods next Tuesday and Wednesday in the pack. And first drumline and spring sports games are March 1st. Uh, awesome. That sounds very exciting. Uh, we'll go to their crosstown rivals next, and that's Westlake High School uh, with Commissioner Athar. Thanks, Ben. Uh, Westlake High School, second semester has finally started. Our Akadeka placed second place and third place, both of our teams, this past weekend. Unfortunately, our winter dance was canceled, but we do still have our winter snowcase rally this Friday. That's going to be a lot of fun. Our dance team had a tournament last Saturday, and our choir show had three shows this past weekend with their Mardi Gras three themed shows. Our senior class is holding a senior class fundraiser this entire week. Um, don't don't forget to go to CPK tonight for restaurant night and tomorrow Quiznos. Um, sports tonight is the boys' last soccer game. It's senior night, so everyone get out there and congratulate all your best friends for playing some a good season. Our boys' basketball game, our boys' basketball team is also having a game today. And don't forget that tomorrow is the last girls' water polo game at three o'clock at home. Um, we look forward to having a fun February, and at the end of this month, Mock Trial will be competing in their tournament as well. Uh, thanks, Ali. Uh, now we have, uh, lastly, our most lovely campus, and we have Commissioner Wall giving the report for Lorena. Today we had our Ash Wednesday Liturgy and Honors Assembly. Um, tomorrow is an exciting day for 8th graders because we have our science fair. After school, all projects are open to the public for viewing in the gym. Next Thursday, on Valentine's Day, we have a variety of activities and a picnic on the front lawn. Lastly, next Friday, on the 15th, we have our spirit rally, based on the theme, I am woman, hear me roar, so get spirited. Uh, thanks. And uh, next we have our ther uh, actually our Teen Center Advisory Report with uh, Commissioner McMinn. Thanks, Ben. Here's a quick update of some things that have happened in the past month at the fabulous Thousand Oaks Teen Center. Our Laker trip on Sunday, January 27th filled up, and all kids had a great time watching the Lakers take on the Cavaliers. The next day, Monday, January, January 28th, our snowboarding trip filled, was, which was to Mountain High. The Mountain High trip was covered by the Ventura County Star, and a video recap of the trip is posted on the Teen Center's website, thousandoaksteencenter.com. We hosted a high school concert on Saturday, February 22nd, or, excuse me, February 2nd, 22nd, hasn't happened yet, which featured the Braces, Jetstream, 
and their headliner, Drive A. <clears throat> the talent of all three bands was extremely impressive. Our competitive leagues are underway, which this winter, to winter totals 29 teams. Some upcoming events are our, our Valentine's Day dance on Saturday, February 9th from 7 to 10 p.m., another snowboarding trip on Friday, February 15th from 6.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m., and a parent team pool tournament on Saturday, February 23rd from 1.30 to 4 p.m. For more information on any of these programs, visit our website at thousandoaksteencenter.com. Um, that concludes our, uh, this segment of our meeting, and I'll turn the meeting back to Commissioner Sassoon. Thank you, Ben. Uh, now I will turn it over to Commissioner Athar to introduce our guest speaker. Thank you. I'd like to introduce Mr. Martinez, our youth outreach worker for the Conejo Recreation Park District and the co-founder of our Conejo Teen Video Festival. Mr. Martinez? Conejo Teen Video Festival is officially underway. It's the 10th annual 2008 Conejo Teen Video Festival, and I am on the committee for it. This is 10 years now running that we've had the festival. We've had hundreds and hundreds of teens from all the schools in the Canyon Valley participate, middle school and high school, and the the quality of the videos are improving every year. It's a really exciting event because we have uh, screenings initially that take place uh, in the past and have taken place at Newbury Park and Thousand Oaks High School, and then what we do is we have the award show at the uh, here at the Civic Arts Plaza. Let me just give you a rundown on the entry criteria for this year. That way uh, the public will get some information on this. Entries must be original works of art completed between June 1st, 2007 and May 30th, 2008. Entries must be written, directed, and filmed by teenagers 19 years and younger, not enroll in college full-time when the video was made. Adult assistance is limited to minor involvement. Entry categories for the festival are documentary, fiction, music video, and animation. The Video Festival Committee reserves the right to disqualify works that might be deemed inappropriate, so I just have to throw that out, especially teens who get a little too gung-ho with their video cameras out there. Um, awards will be given for the following categories. For Best Documentary, Best Music Video, Best Screenplay, Best Animation, Best Cinematography, Best Technical Achievement, Best Actor, Actress, Most Original, Best Video for Videographers Under 15 Years Age, and Best Overall Video. Entry fee is $15 for residents and $20 for non-residents. Now, the festival screenings will be taking place on June 13th and 14th at Kalina Middle School at 7 o'clock. The awards ceremony, which is a lot of fun as well, is going to be held at the Share Forum Theater on June 22nd at 5 o'clock. And that's a really neat event because all the finalists get driven up in limos and we have red carpet and it's a lot of fun that night. We also have, which is going to be free, a video workshop for novice filmmakers. The first one is going to be held this Saturday on the 9th at the Thousand Oaks Teen Center from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and that's free. It teaches the basics of camera work, lighting, story development and such. If anyone has any questions out there, the public, they can call me. That's Pete Martinez and my office at 381-2793. If you want to sign up for the, the workshops this Saturday, you can call the Teen Center at 494-5156. Now, the deadline for submissions for the entries is going to be May 30th at 6 o'clock. So, again, that's May 30th at 6 o'clock. And just to let you know, the uh, entry forms look like this. And I'm going to be at all the schools and get them all out. They're going to be at uh, at community centers throughout the Canal Valley. Also, I'm going to give you a website as well that people can check about entering the festival. It's www.caneoteenvideofestival.org. I'll say that again. www.caneoteenvideofestival.org. And I would like to have some questions if anybody is interested in the festival. Any questions about the fence? Yes. Uh, how many entries are there normally? Like how much competition? 
Well, that's a good question. Um, it varies from year to year. I would say on an average about uh, 25 to 30 entries. Yes. Are applicants allowed to submit more than one entry? Yes, they can submit more than one entry, definitely. That's fine. Yes. I know that some people watching might just be interested and have like no experience and maybe they'll attend the workshop, but what's the general level of experience because I know some people might be afraid to try because they think everybody's way better than them. Um, I think in the past, there's always people who are, who've entered one or two years uh, from the previous years and there's always going to be somebody who's entered for the first time. So half the entries are usually entered for the first time. And I know there's people out there, there's young adults out there um, who might be contemplating and wondering, gee, you know, am I good enough to do that? I don't know. And I encourage them to try. They'd be surprised. And if they have any questions about making a video, uh, if they have any doubts um, or what direction, they can always call me. I'm there for them to assist them, um, to give them confidence and to encourage them. Okay? So that's a good question. Yes? Uh, you said the script and stuff has to be original, but can it be based on a book? Yes, it can be based on a book. Okay. That's fine. That's a good question. Yes. And can it be based on a TV show? Yes, we, it could be based on a TV show. But I have to tell you that some copyright infringements might take place if, if you're using footage or, or music. But uh, that can always be taken care of if you just contact the producers of and of the uh, the music or the show itself. We've had that in the past and you can talk to me about that later or anyone can talk to me about copy, copyright information regarding that. Yes? Is there any way to see any of the past videos that have won or just been entered at all? Yes, um, there's definitely, anyone can contact me, especially the schools. I'm going to be going around the schools and showing them uh, the videos from last year. Um, and we also recently had a director showcase uh, taping of uh, the winners from last year, and it's going to be it's going to be aired through uh, Time Warner as well. And just to let you know, the sponsor of the event is the Caneo Team, Caneo Recreation and Park District, the City of Thousand Oaks Arts Commission, and Time Warner Cable. Yes. Things like uh, collaboration, something that's very encouraged by this festival. Um, is there a limit to a number of people who can work on it? And um, if a lot of people work on it, who who gets the credit for? Uh, these are awesome questions. Great questions. There's no limit to the people who how many people can work on it. We've had four directors in one video, um, and, but uh, as long as the work is produced, uh, directed, and written by the teens, they can have. We've had people who've had their parents be the actors, and that's perfectly fine. That's called that's considered minor involvement, but there's there's no limitations on that. We encourage the more the better. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Mr. Martinez. Uh, that will conclude our, seg our spe segment of guest speakers. Thank you. Okay. We will now move on to our project reports. First, we have the therapeutic dance, and I will call on Commissioner Morrison to tell us more about that. Okay, well, as the day is getting closer, we're just planning all of the details. So if I could just get one person from each subcommittee to give a quick report, can we start with souvenirs and food committee and just go from there? Thank you, Commissioner Morrison. For souvenirs, uh, we got some really nice bags, and we've also lately had a couple new ideas and some donations, which will allow us to not only get some nice uh, glow necklaces and bracelets but also a couple cool gifts that we can put around our tables and for the students and it's going to be a lot of fun it's going to be really exciting and kids will get really happy when they get their souvenir bags um so i'm doing food and uh we want to thank amichis and uh and uh, Trader Joe's for helping us out. Uh, we uh, have uh, um, used them for uh, our our uh, event. Thank you very much. And uh, we're planning, and uh, we have good stuff for uh, for eating. So yeah. 
Okay, can we have decorations? <laughs> okay, so for decorations, we have taken inventory of all of our supplies, and we've also come up with a list of things that we will need. We've also finished our uh, silverware color scheme, I guess. There was a fancy word that was given to me, but I forgot it. Um, that's about all we've done today, so I'll give it back to you. Okay, um, entertainment and balloon drop. Uh, me and my committee, um, we have kind of created a great program that is sure to entertain. Uh, we have um, got a contract from our DJ, um, from Steve, at the Teen Center, and he usually does an amazing job. So it's going to be really great um, with great music, and um, he usually does a lot of cool lighting too, so that's going to be um, an awesome time. We have also uh, have our movie um, that's going to be playing uh, for people who don't really feel like dancing or want to take a break in the game room, or uh, they have like two flat screen TVs, so they're going to be playing uh, well throughout the whole night. So um, I think we're going to be playing Finding Nemo, which is a very great like Oscar-worthy film that everyone seems to enjoy a lot. Um, and also, most importantly, we have our entertainment um, during dinner, and uh, we should give a big thanks to Raymond Michael for um, agreeing to uh, provide us with entertainment. He does a great job uh, as an Elvis impersonator, so that should be a lot of fun. And um, he's thinking about doing kind of like a slow, romantic Elvis songs during eating, kind of calm and relax the mood, provide a great eating atmosphere while um, the attendants are eating. And after that, he's going to put up some fast Elvis uh, dancing songs. So kind of ease um, the attendants um, into like kind of a dancing mood. So he's going to sure to do a great job. And uh, once again, thanks uh, again to Raymond Michael for agreeing to provide us with our entertainment um, as an Elvis impersonator. And other than that, uh, in addition to our balloon drop, we are almost set with our entertainment. All we have to do is finalize our entertainment schedule, and we should be set. Thank you. Um, we'll move on to invitation, souvenir frames, and thank you cards. Okay, well, um, our photo frames were set at the last workshop meeting, and those are very cool, and they're going to be... I forget the name for them. What are they called? Yeah, clapboards. I, I guess called them little things that you close when you say action. But um, the clapboards, and they're gonna be six by eight with a picture in front, inside them, and they're gonna say, you know, therapeutic dance, night of the Oscars, 2008. It's gonna be really cool for everyone who gets a photo taken. And tonight we are working on the thank you cards for the donors, which um, are going to be good as well. We haven't really made too much progress, but we're gonna, you know, say thank you for. Donating this was a great success because of your generosity, etc., etc. Uh, that's all we have for now. Okay, thank you very much. Lastly, we'll go to donations, prizes, and volunteers. Is that? That's okay. Um, <laughs> well, do we have? Yeah, we do have prizes, but I don't think we need to say those now. And okay, I think we're done then. Thank you. Thank you very much, Commissioner Morrison. We will now move on to our report on Rock the Oaks, and I turn it over to Commissioner Hatland. Uh, hello. So on January 30th, we had our tech meeting. All the bands met, and um, the Rock the Oaks subcommittee met, and we... Uh, did a lot of practicing theatrical stuff, which is definitely going to help uh, keep the in-between time less boring. We um, have more posters in, super posters now. They're bigger than last time. Um, if you want to buy tickets, as said on the poster, you can go to Ticketmaster.com, or you can call 805-583-8700. That's also Ticketmaster, but you can call them. Um, we have... Four great bands, which have already been announced, Midnight Shakes, Big Brother, A Better Transit, and Cicada. Um, thanks to Mike, Chris, and Jonathan, who all came out to help us at our tech meeting. That was really great. Um, flyers are out, so look for them. Come to our concert. It's going to be way crazy. And um, also, thank you to 805 Magazine for including Rock the Oaks in one of their articles. That was way cool, so you get two thumbs up.
Uh, right now, that's about it. So, thank you very much. Okay, um, we will move on to guest speaker and public information with Commissioner Athar. Thank you. Uh, n our next meeting, February 20th, we're looking forward to host to having Cecilia Lothenberg from the Therapeutic Division of the Canaro Recreation Park District, as well as Officer Lopez, who will come to speak to us about narcotics. Okay, that sounds exciting. I mean, in an informative kind of way. I will wrap it up with our special project announcement. Um, we talked about it. I believe at our last televised, but we always have a we have a volunteer newsletter that will be coming out again soon, I believe. So, oh, March 1st. So, please, if you have anything, like if you need volunteers, if you're an organization or just an activity going on, call uh, our advisor, Francine Spriegel, at 805-449-2743. I know you're all impressed I have that memorized. And... Um, or you can email youthcommission at toaks.org. We would love to have it. It's a great way to get volunteers throughout the community. And uh, so please let us know. And also I'm very pleased to announce that the Thousand Oaks Youth Commission is um, supporting the Westlake Art Guild project. And I believe we are sitting one afternoon uh, with the docent at their gallery. So we're excited to be involved in that. And that would be all of our special projects for the moment. Next, we have Commissioner Comments with Commissioner Sadwick. Are there any Commissioner Comments? Um, yes, I have one. I'd like to say happy birthday to my dad today. Hope you like the cake. Happy birthday. Okay. I would like to also say happy birthday, not exactly today, but in the month of February, to my very good friend, Meg Fingert. Happy birthday. You're 18, don't do anything too crazy, please. Um, I'd like to say happy sweet 16 to my friend Megan. Happy birthday. Is that all? Okay, back to you, Commissioner Sasson. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, everybody, for a very productive meeting. And uh, thank you to our loyal audience. We love you all. And I would like to adjourn this meeting at 6.53 p.m.